Welcome to our feature clip highlighting browser access for SAP Business One release 9.2. Browser access offers simple remote access for on-premise customers, ultimately lowering the overall total cost of ownership with no need for a remote desktop connection and corresponding license for most users. No client upgrades means simpler lifecycle management with minimized ecosystem effort. You can securely access SAP Business One from any location with a compatible browser. Instead of using the existing remote access via a remote desktop service or Citrix, browser access is accessible through a web browser and leverages the web browser dispatcher to start an SAP Business One client session in web UI server mode using specific start parameters for the SAP Business One client. This will display the SAP Business One user interface, not through the underlying operating system, but through a web user interface engine, which will render the user interface in HTML5 format to be consumed by supported web browsers. OEC computers would like to lower their total cost of ownership, and they're looking at ways to do this. So OEC computers have decided to deploy inexpensive, thin client PCs for all new employees. These employees will use a web browser to securely access the SAP Business One system instead of using remote desktop software, which requires additional license costs. Existing employees with old, unsupported hardware and software can now also use a web browser to access SAP Business One. Some employees need to access SAP Business One from outside the company without having a company PC or laptop, and these employees can also now use a web browser instead of remote desktop software. Let's check out the SAP Business One interface using browser access. We've now opened up a web browser, and we're firstly going to log in to the System Landscape directory to configure our browser access settings. To do this, we enter our username and password details. We are now in the System Landscape directory. By navigating to the Services tab, we can then select the Browser Access Service and click Edit. In the Edit Service window, we can edit the following information. For example, the service URL. You may want to use the IP address instead of the hostname, or in the event that the hostname, IP address, or the port has changed, and you must update the service URL to reflect these changes. We then have the field called initial process pool size. This is where you specify the initial number of processes that the browser access service hosts. In other words, the number of Business One clients that have started and are waiting for browser access users. You also have the option to define the maximum process pool size. This is where you specify the maximum number of processes that the browser access service can host. It is a number of browser access instances that can be used simultaneously. So for example, you could specify the initial process pool size as 20 and the maximum process pool size as 100. That means that 20 SAP Business One client processes are constantly running on the browser access server and allow 20 SAP Business One users to access the SAP Business One client in a web browser at the same time. If more SAP Business One users attempt to access the SAP Business One client in a web browser, more processes are started, but at most 100 users are allowed for concurrent access. You can adjust these settings, which will have a direct impact on the performance of your system. You then have the ability to enter a description for this browser access server. Then you simply save the changes, and to apply the changes immediately on the browser access server, you can restart the SAP Business One browser access server gatekeeper service. Now let's log into SAP Business One for a web browser. In the control center, we're able to log in by selecting our server, our company, and entering our user ID and password details.
As you can see, the standard SAP Business One menu has opened and it is the same user interface as if you were logging in via a standard SAP Business One client. Let's open up our calendar and have a look at the activities over this month. We can actually see that a task has been created to check a recent sales order. Let's double click on this task. We can have a look at the activity. We can see the activity relates to the customer parameter technologies. We can also drill down to the customer and have a look at the business partner master data details. In this instance, I'd like to actually have a look at the recent sales order that was created. I can click on link document and then I can drill down to the actual recent sales order. From the recent sales order, I would like to save this sales order as a PDF and print it out. We simply select Preview and Print, and then we're presented with the PDF view of the sales order document. We can simply download this sales order document and save it as a PDF, or we can print the document based on your setup of your print settings. This is a very simple example of what the browser access user interface looks like for SAP Business One release 9.2. Thank you for your time today and make sure you check out what's new in our highlighted feature clips for SAP Business One release 9.2.